Alrighty, so we're back with the 6TU diesel, Chevy K10, oh, that's bright. And I've been experiencing a crazy knocking sound in reverse about a week ago. And I was like, well, it's not that bad. It was pretty bad, like you could hear it totally inside the cab and when you open up the door, it was just like, clock, 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 clock. Um, and depending on engine to transmission speed, it would get uh, faster or slower depending on how fast you were going. And even while you were sitting at idle, you could hear it. Well, just barely, barely at idle, but once you hit the gas, it was just like, Brr! So I was like, okay, well, it, didn't, it wasn't happening in any of the other gears. So I was just kind of like, you know what, let's just drive on it, see if it gets worse, see if it just kind of fixes itself. So I added in some uh, tractor hydraulic fluid into the transmission, and I was like, maybe that'll quiet it down, it's a little bit thicker, and it'll help control heat a little bit better, at least that's what, that's what I've heard. So I added that in and no, didn't really help at all, but uh, I was like, okay, whatever. And of course it leaks really bad, and so I got a spare re uh, replacement transmission, 700R4. What's in it right now is a Turbo Hydromatic uh, 350. And so, you know, common trans. But I want to put a 700R4 behind it, because I believe it originally came with a 700R4. It was either that, or it came with a, a lockup turbo uh, 350 but anyway so I was just wondering what it was and I went out to Melfort just a couple days ago and when I got back I noticed that the knocking was in all gears except for third and in reverse it was absolutely terrible like it was I was actually to be honest, scared to drive it I was surprised that this thing made it 200 and like 300 kilometers yeah just over 300 kilometers um, so I was just like well let's pull it into the garage and uh, let's check what's going on. So, I went under underneath and decided to put, the sound was coming from right between the torque converter and the engine. So I was like, I really hope I didn't break a crank with 6.2. But if I broke a crank, I think there would have been other <coughs> symptoms. So I thought, new was a transmission because when you put it into drive, uh, or, you know, uh, depending on the gear, it got worse. But you can see there that shiny spot that my truck um, that I believe a torque converter bolt came, uh, came loose and started rubbing up against this you know aluminum housing I think that was making what was making the sound so I'll go turn off the engine a couple of revolutions and figure out if the bolts loose and if, if so tighten, tighten her up and I'll come back with an update well we're back here underneath the Chevy and well, I tried to tighten up all those uh, torque converter bolts and none of them got any snugger. So what I'm guessing is the pan thingamabubby, the cover, just kind of loosened off or from vibration because the 60s do produce quite a bit of vibration and um, just kind of wiggled its way out and started rubbing. Or... Uh, the transmission uh, bell housing bolts actually loosened up just enough for it to uh, slip and start rubbing. So I'm going to check for uh, bell housing spacing and uh, if there's space then I'll tighten up those bolts and we'll put it back together and see how she chooches. Yeah! Well, got her all back together and what I had to do was go out and buy some washers to get this thing to be pushed basically down and forward a little bit to stop the converter bolts from contacting it because when I put it back on after trying to bend it and you know just kind of just get it out of the reach of the bolts um, put it back on and it was still making that clacking noise so just went to the hardware store bought some uh, just, you know, ordinary washers, stuck them in there. It's about, well, I want to say like a sixteenth of an inch, maybe thirty second, thirty seconds of an inch. Not very much at all. Just a little, you know, spacer, and uh, I just started it up and put it into reverse because that's where it clacks the worst, and I uh, didn't hear any clacking. So we'll drive on it for a few days, see how she is. If she starts making that clacking noise, I'll insert the second, uh, some more washers. So yeah, there you are.